Yeah, so um, in my case, visa process was very easy. Um, I submitted all the documents after getting the appointment at uh, VFS in my uh, state city. And then I submitted all the documents. And then within a week's time, I got my visa for within me a week. and my family. Yeah. Okay. That was that's, really quick. Yeah, fine. I was surprised. So welcome back, everybody, to another success interview today to our YouTube channel. Today with a former coach of ours, Mito. Hello, Mito. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm also very good. Thanks for asking. Um, Mito, maybe first of all, before I start introducing you, introduce yourself. Yes. So as you said, my name is Mito. I'm from India, uh, basically from Kerala, but I was in Bangalore working as a software engineer. I have an experience of almost 11 to 12 years in the software industry. Um, I have a family uh, with a son who is just five years old. Yeah, I think that's all about me. <laughs> Perfect. We get to know more about you later on. Sure. So today we want to talk about um, yeah why you moved to Germany. Um, we got to know each other, I think it was this year in late April. Um, yeah, yeah got a job offer I think beginning of June so six yes. weeks later yeah you had yeah. A, a nice offer from a company yes um in the west of Germany a small city there and the company is what is, what is the company doing uh they are into infotainment so infotainment. all the yeah technology related to that exactly and you are into C C sharp uh, C C and C plus plus development yes. um yes. tell me um first of all yeah why did you decide that moving to Germany, I mean, with a family, with a son is a good idea? Yeah. So um, I had tried moving to Germany like a couple of years back when I was working in Dubai. Uh, basically, the reason was I wanted to do more um, challenging works with latest technology. So I felt that was lacking in Dubai while I was uh, working there. So I tried, but maybe um, nothing worked out. I'm not sure whether I was not very serious or they were not recruiting. I'm not sure what happened. So that didn't work out. Then I got a job offer in Bangalore. Then I moved there. So what happened was, um, again, in my work, it was not challenging because um, um, what happened was some of our uh, products was being sold to another company. So we were not doing any new uh, developments. So it was again, not really challenging work. So I was trying to look out. And then I saw this um, ad um, in LinkedIn, find a job in Germany. So I was just wondering, you know, uh, what's happening. And then maybe I could just give a try because I had tried to go to Germany before. Mm -hmm. uh, so I just tried and then I got in touch with you. So, so that's how it all started. So it was not just for me, for my husband as well. It will be good if he moves to Germany because he's doing kind of like logistics business. So we thought, you know, we can move if we get an opportunity, we can move to Germany and then you know, settle there, something like that. Cool. Before before we talk about the process of finding a job here, tell me, what have you done in your last job in India? Like what kind of technology have you been working on maybe what kind of products did you work with yeah so I was uh, working in a telecom company so there I was a developer uh, I was working on C++ and then uh, Linux platforms um, there the development phase was really good it was challenging but yeah when that after the merge you know it kind of became stagnant and it was just you know uh, bug fixing and things like that which was not challenging you know you don't learn much right you mm -hmm. just fixes whatever bugs come to your uh, product so um, that's why you know I was looking out for uh, more opportunities mm -hmm. okay cool and then when you decided to get in touch with us tell me us about how this process works so yeah. um yeah yeah, so yeah, that's what, uh, as I said before, I saw this uh, ad in LinkedIn, and then I approached, I got a call, then I had one-to-one um, uh, -one with you, probably, yeah, and then, you know, I got to know about the whole process, how it works, and then where I lack in terms of approaching a company, and then uh, even even my resume, even, you know, it goes into detail as how I should look in a photo, right? So, mm. because I guess uh, Germans are particular about a lot of things when compared to India. India, it's all about your resume, whether you have technical skills, and then they directly take you for technical rounds. So, mm. in Germany, it doesn't work like that. So, I got to know how the process 
is and how it works in terms of Germany, how what they are looking for. So I got to know a lot about it. And then I prepared myself and with the guidance from uh, find a job in Germany, how my um, resume should look like and uh, how I should prepare myself for an HR interview and then how I should prepare for my technical as well as the final round. So, and uh, we used to have, uh, I think the weekly uh, meetings with everybody sharing their experiences so that you know what's happening and then what uh, other um, companies are expecting, right? So you have uh, real scenarios working out there. So yeah, it really helped me and that way I could learn. Perfect. So after we revamped your CV to German standards, then we started applying to jobs. Uh, like we yes, applied for yes. you, 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 we showed you how you apply, right? And yes, tell yes. us how did then, then you get got calls, obviously, and how yeah. how did those interviews go? And uh, what what you say? How how is the interview? How are the interview structured differently than to India? Yeah. So um, first of all, uh, most of I think I gave uh, interviews to just two companies. Um, so both of them had the first uh, HR round, basically uh, with uh, the HR and um, the recruiting manager and sometimes the director. So I think with uh, both uh, companies, I had the same structure and then they get to know you, what you worked on, why are you interested in uh, moving to Germany, what are you looking for, how can you contribute and things like that. So it is not just your technical skills, you know, it's overall how you can fit into um, new culture, right? So in Germany, it's all a different culture, how you can fit into. So they, I think, uh, kind of ask questions based on that. Mm. And then um, it is a really comfortable. They make you feel comfortable. It is not like it is a very stressful interview or anything like that. They make you feel comfortable. And, you know, there are, they crack jokes and then you can just slap around and things like that. So, you know, I was never nervous in both of my HR first round of interview. And uh, the second round was uh, mainly technical. With one company, it was just um, the director and the technical lead. So they were asking about a lot of uh, technical questions. Um, whereas with the other company where I'm working, they had something called as a trial day. Mm -hmm. where they took around, I think, four or five hours and they give you a problem. They'll explain what they're expecting. And then I did the whole problem. And then after that, you had to present it to the panel. Panel will contain mostly maybe uh, the lead and then the technical teams. Mm -hmm. So um, after presenting, they'll ask a few questions. Um, it was not very hard. It is just what I uh, presented, right? It is the questions are all based on that and what I have worked on. So it was fine. It was not so hard. And then um, after one round, then I had an HR interview, uh, interview. That was also very comfortable. You know, they didn't ask too many questions. They were just asking me about the expectations and then what I'm looking forward for and things like that. So yeah, all in all, it was all comfortable. You know, I didn't have like many technical rounds. In India, what happens is you have a minimum of, uh, I think, four to five technical rounds with different mm -hmm. people. So you need to perform well in each and every interview, <laughs> unless you don't qualify. So yeah, so that way, I think, you know, it was pretty better and real, I, I would say, when it came, mm -hmm. when it comes to the interviews in Germany. So if I understood you right, with this one company where you're working, you had a complete trial day. You had a, like a five-hour yeah. session where you yes, did it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's also quite challenging. I mean, you you make it look like, but um, easy. But um... uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It all depends. If you know the problem, then it's easy. <laughs> so I guess then you can talk and then present and then things like that. So. <laughs> But what I found interesting, you're completely right. I, I always say 50% of you being hired is the way you present yourself and you communicate. Yes. So yes. soft yes. skills and team fit are yes. extremely important for German important companies. Too. And um, this yeah. is what we train in the in the program a lot. And obviously you're really good yeah. in that. So you have yeah. not no big challenges. So no. um, I got a lot of points from Luciano on how you should be positive and that <laughs> you should always tell them that, okay, you know, you will work hard for this if you really don't know things, what, what is happening. But uh, yeah, but you always give a positive reply, you know, instead of, mm -hmm. okay, I don't know, probably something like that. 
<laughs> That's good. When it comes to, when, did you have a coding challenge with them as well? Or did you just have this challenge on a trial day? You don't, didn't have so a take So the trial home? day itself is a coding challenge. So they'll give you a problem and you have mm -hmm. to, since I'm a programmer, mm -hmm. I had to literally write a program for that mm -hmm. problem. Okay. And then the other interview you had, did you get a technical challenge there as well? Uh, no, was there just, was no okay. technical challenge um, because I had two technical uh, rounds. So because I think the first round, they ha they asked a bit of hardware stuff and I don't have exposure on hardware stuff. Mm. So since when they realized that I don't have uh, exposure on hardware, they actually interviewed me for a software uh, engineer role as well. Mm. So okay. I, I did that. I think it went okay. But then they said they rejected saying that, you know, sorry, we can't move forward. Okay. And generally speaking, what would you say when it comes to technical challenges? Just one or two things. What would you, what you say, what is important um, if you get them? Yeah, so um, you should be um, good at understanding the problem statement that they are trying to say, right? So if you are giving, getting a statement, you should understand correctly. And then you should ask a lot of questions to them on what they are expecting, right? So that you uh, know what, uh, what output should be, what you are giving. Right. So mm. that should be the understanding should be perfect. And then um, you should be good at the programming language that you work on. So because they are expecting you to have the complete coding from the starting to the and to see output as well. So mm. it's better, you know, you kind of um, uh, solve problems on a lot of platforms like uh, lead code, hacker rank, you know, that will help you understanding the statement and then arriving at a solution. So you mm. will get something similar like that. So it would be great if you have some hands-on experience on that. It will help you. Cool. Perfect. And um, yeah, then you, you got the offer quite quick. I mean, six weeks, that's nothing. Um, <laughs> uh, the yeah, average time is blessed. at least two to three months and you had a, had a nice offer. And then when did you move then? When did you move to Germany then? So um, my joining date was 1st of August. So mm -hmm. I had to um, give notice for around two months in my previous company. And then, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, quickly after that, I moved here and I joined the company. Okay. How was the visa visa process then? <laughs> yeah. So um, in my case, visa process was very easy. Um, I submitted all the documents after getting the appointment at uh, VFS in my uh, state city. And then I submitted all the documents. And then within a week's time, I got my visa for within me a week. and my family. Yeah. Okay. That was that's, really quick. That's yeah, fast. I was surprised. You, you got a blue card, right? Um, yeah, I got a blue card, yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So only one week visa time. That's um, yeah, that's yeah. good news that it's, it's yeah. speeding up a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, fantastic. And uh, now you're here. You're working for this company now for three months, um, I guess. Yeah, two and, and a half months, yes. Two and a half months. And yeah. Um, you enjoying uh, life in Germany so far? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. I get perfect. to travel a lot. I get to see uh, a lot of places, which is good. <laughs> and then, yeah, good thing is how the public transport is. It's well connected. So I don't have a car yet, but still I don't miss it too much because I have public transport to travel around. Awesome. Yeah, me too. Thanks for your insight. Um, that was really interesting. And I hope some, some other people, some other C++, C, but also other software engineers, could learn a little bit how to get a job here. Yeah. And if you are also interested in finding a job in Germany, um, get in touch with us. Um, yeah. There is a video training, which you find below this video. Watch it, understand how we work, and then you book a get to no call. We will check if we work with you. And if you are eligible, then we call you for a second call, a video call, and assess your skills um, a bit more further. And then um, we're gonna make you an offer to join the program. Usually it takes two to three months then to get an offer. Thanks again, Mito. Um, see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 bye.